what is going on everybody cat cannabis here paler than ever um had covid unfortunately so getting over that uh that's why it's been a while since i've made any videos but just got these two new products in the mail and in this video i'm showing you this first product that i got all the way from california called the herby dry herb vaporizer now this is the first time I'm opening this. I have no idea. Never used this before. Um, they contacted me via email and was like, hey, would you like to do a product review on this? And I said, sure. So let's see. Opening her up. All right. First things first. She is very tiny. <clears throat> so I'm going to be a little slower than normal stoned cat cannabis for obvious reasons. It is a dry herb vaporizer, so I should be able to take my grinder full of bud and put it right into this thing. So, let's see. There are instructions. Are there instructions? Yeah, if we take the back off. We've got, let's see, a bunch of crap. No. <coughs> Charger, always needed. Set that separately. Wire brush for cleaning. Set that there. A poker bee for poking bees. A nice, ooh, a nice satchel for it. Keep all your stuff contained. There's a lot of stuff in here. What is this one? This is a tube. Lord Vapor. Whoa. What are these? Out came these. I have three of them. Here's two more. Um, maybe they're filters? We're about to find out. Let's put these back for now, though, into this tube. Kind of hard to tell, but they went back into the tube. <clears throat> anyway, let's figure out how this works. There are two more things in here. Jeez, oh, Pete's. I'm not going to rip these open. Looks like mouthpieces. And then more filters. We're going to keep those in their respective bags for now. Get all this trash out of here. Now, that's what I assumed. Okay, yeah. So it is that... So these three spares go right into here. As you can tell, that's where you're going to put the dry herb. I just pulled the cap off. It's not a twist. It's a clap. Pull. And then I'll back up so it's easier. And then that. And then I'm going to assume, like every vape, it's five taps. And indeed it is. Five taps to turn it on. It's blinking. Maybe that means it's heating up. Let's read the instructions while this sits here. So. Mouthpiece tips. Pod container and dosing pods. Okay. It's got three settings. Green, blue, white. White is the hottest. Green is the lowest. Blue is middle. How to power on and off, five times in rapid succession within two seconds. We'll power and the start will flash in the color of the current temperature setting initially green for the lowest setting. To turn RB off, press five times. To change the temperature, clicking the power button one time will increase the temperature to the next highest setting. When at the highest temperature setting, click the power button, we'll cycle back to the lowest. Okay. Removing Herbie's mouthpiece, hold Herbie in the palm of your hand and use your thumb to push the mouthpiece away from you until you hear a click. Okay, loading the chamber. Start by grinding your material to a fine grind. With the mouthpiece removed and power turned off, the chamber can be loaded into one of two ways. <clears throat> and what are these two ways? Um, where did it go? Okay, so here we go. 
this is how you see it. These are the steps. Make sure to read this when you get one. Um, link will be in the description below if I can find a link for it. So uh, we'll try that. Anyway, um, using a using a dosing pod. Remove one of the dosing pods from the pod container, assuming it's already filled with herb, and insert it into the chamber. Reattach the mouthpiece. Okay. Now it is time to install a mouthpiece tip. If you choose to use one, insert the small end in Irby's mouthpiece opening, then push it firmly. We don't really need that. Let's just uh, roll with it. So, she's already heated. Oh, wow. She's heated up. There's nothing in here. What am I doing? All right. We're going to turn that off for a sec because I want to fill this. Looks like I would just literally... Hmm. Maybe I gotta fill the dosing pod first. So take your little dosing pod, which is what these were. We are going to... Unscrew the top of this. So there's a little top. See? And then, you're gonna fill this with your cannabis, and then you're going to drop it into that hole. So we're going to do that real quick while you can't see me do it, but it's going to happen. So I'm going to open my grinder. <coughs> nice. Fully loaded grinder. I'm just going to use this and scoop her. See what happens. Fill this with herb. And then I guess this is what you would use the packing tool for. To put it all in there. So like, if you wanted to take this on the go, you've got, it comes with three dosing pods. So what you can do is you can fill all three dosing pods up at the beginning before you go out and about. And then you've got reloads. So you can hit it a few times, empty the chamber and reload. It's as simple and as fun as that. So let's... Just fill this to the max. Like that. Make a big mess everywhere. <coughs> Close up said dosing pod. These are all small moving parts, so you'd have to do this while you're sober all at once, or if you're really good at being stoned. Either way. Time for the test. Dropped in. Cool. Closed. I'm going to let that sit there while I close my grinder. So I'm going to set this down real quick. The other product I got from the same company, but a different brand, <coughs> I think, also looks really cool. So be sure, be sure to check this out in the next video. That thing's going to be sweet. I have no idea, but it looks really cool. So um, the review for that will be dope. Um, this is still charging, so we're just going to give it a sec. Let it heat up. Oh, and it's done. Alright, let's give it a whirl. That was warm. Okay. Does anyone remember the MSIG? Because this is a lot like the M-Sig back in the day. I had one of those in college, and you would literally just fill it with dry herb, and then press and hold it. It would heat up, and then, woo, it was really cool. Not a lot of smoke comes out, but I didn't put a whole lot in. Tastes pretty good. Tastes like vaporized to dry herb. first time I'm smoking today and it's like f four o'clock so not really sure if um, I don't know it feels good it's mellow I put miracle alien cookies herb into this so <clears throat> not really sure if it's going to be uh, what the difference is gonna be
Not a lot of smoke, because it is vape. You can barely tell. But I like it. Nice and easy. And you could just, like I said, you could fill your dosing pods with reloads, and then take these two things, put them... Let me turn this off. And then you can just put them into your bag. Boom. And then if you want to be really crazy, take the charger with you. Put it into that bag. Boom. Zipped up. Ready to go. Ready for all your weighty adventures. <clears throat> so guys, that's it for this calm catatonic review on the Irby. I didn't mention that it was a catatonic review, but you should always assume that it will be one because I'm cat cannabis and we're catatonic. So, Irby, I like your product. I like it a lot. Um, is it super useful <clears throat> or is it more um, You know, maybe I'm not supposed to... Hold on. Smell proof dry herb pod container. Three pods. Insulating mouthpiece tips. Was I not supposed to? Fill pods with... Yeah, at home. Fill pods with ground herb. Load in smell proof container. Pack carry pouch. Cool. On the go. Drop pod into chamber. Turn herb on. Consume. No fuss, no mess. It says they're right on the back. It's their... Um, it's the white print that you can't read because, um, you know... Walmart camera um, <clears throat> but this is awesome I like this product guys link in the description below if you want to get yourself one they're pretty cool um, thanks for watching guys much love